So Adam and I did a thing, and I don't really know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's done now, so we gotta clean up our mess. Part of cleaning up the mess is we're going to get the truck swapped. <clears throat> I have the service body painted and over there ready to go. So I figured before we do the swap, I would do a quick video kind of touring through the truck and how I have it set up now and just like how that's worked for us for the last, I don't know, probably three years in that configuration or something like that. So let's do it. Let's zoom her out here a little bit. So this is kind of the current configuration of the truck. <clears throat> We've got a 40 gallon transfer tank with fill rate pump and not enough fuel hose to really be really nice it just kind of works when you're like pulled right up next to stuff then i have uh, a deeper weather guard cross box two of the low side boxes and the pack rat so you can fit a lot of stuff in here the only downfall is that it's not four feet between the toolboxes so trying to haul like sheet goods and stuff like that kind of becomes a little bit of a pain in the ass. So starting up in the front, I have two lasers with us all the time. One of them is just a regular rotary laser. The other one um, is our top con or our uh, Stabilo laser that does our layout for us. I have some random miscellaneous junk in the little tray, and then I've got some of the tools that I keep in blow molded cases. Um, that are just kind of hard to organize anywhere else. Uh, in this case, we just got back from a trip to Tennessee, so we've got the big and the little inflator, a porta pan. Um, that's a Ava Pow jump pack that actually works pretty good, and a couple of bottle jacks. Usually, we have more straps in here, but they're kind of out and about places so i need to get that reloaded and then uh, they send these little clippy things in these toolboxes so one four foot level because i guess i used to do a lot of construction so moving on to the driver's side box i keep most of my power tools in here so uh, as you can see we've got like the big impact that's a big half inch milwaukee a smaller mid torque half a mid torque three eighths uh, this is an M12 drill, the M12 stubby 3.8, a regular M12 impact, uh, some batteries. I got the hacksaw, um, angle grinder, a ratchet, and then I also have kind of tucked down in there the, um, I think it's a 3.8 in here. Nope, that's a half inch uh, right angle impact. Uh, I've got a torque wrench kind of chilling here from gear wrench. And then at this side, I just have a little propane or MapCast torch and some rags, some wipes, that kind of stuff. Moving on to the passenger side, this is kind of like a dirtier cabinet or a dirtier box. So um, I have like some trailer consumables here. Um, we do quite a bit of like drain work and stuff. So I have some PVC glues. I have uh, oil for the plow and some other just kind of miscellaneous diesel oil just in case something's a little low keep my grease plenty of good brake clean and then this is just kind of like a random assortment of like pv blaster starting fluid um like boom loop for the boom lifts and the stuff that telescopes and um grease gun etc etc so Nothing too crazy in here, just a lot of consumables and the grease gun, which is pretty much always dirty. Now in the pack rat. This drawer is really heavy and I've got a pair of channel locks that's kind of screwing me over right now. See if we can figure out which one. That guy, pretty sure. So the pack rat actually has become quite useful and I've actually really enjoyed it. So we've got half inch sockets, 
three eighths and quarter, and then we've got impact sockets. We've got half inch and three eighths. There's some extra random junk in here, like the panel hitch receiver for my Gen Y. This is always kind of like a junk collector, and so I like there's a golf ball in there and whatever else. But this is like just a lot of little stuff that we use, um, kind of day to day. Electrical, so I've got zip ties in the bottom, butt connectors, um, the crimpers, some longer zip ties, some electrical tape. Uh, that's just like the extra dividers and stuff, but I didn't really know what to do with them, so they just have lived up there ever since. It's got my meters and some more of like the oddball things, I think feeler gauges, um, that pin puller we made for the telehandler and some other stuff. Wrenches, long set, stubby set, some adjustable wrenches, the player's wrench, that's, I can't go anywhere without that now. Uh, screwdrivers in here, just a cheap Husky set uh, from the depot, but it works pretty well. I've also got a handful of picks and stuff running around and some files in there. String lines in the front. I used to actually keep like a couple chalk lines in there too, but the chalk used to just get kind of on everything, so I've steered away from that. And then this one is punches, snap ring pliers, and then some hammers, and pretty much anything else players related. So you can fit quite a bit of stuff into the pack rat without too much issue. So I've actually grown to like that from an organization standpoint quite a bit. So the other thing that we kind of have in the back of the truck here is next to the pack rat under each side box, I just have some random tools. So uh, I've got a flat shovel, big pry bar to the sledgehammer. I usually keep like my track shovel in here and a regular spade shovel as well, but who knows where those went, so that's cool. And then on this side, uh, tripod, the laser stick, and we weren't sure what we were getting into, so we threw some cribbing in there uh, for our trip to Tennessee, so that's why that's in there. That's not usually in there, though. Usually it's just the laser and the stick, and then our tools on this side. So that kind of wraps up how I have the back of the truck kind of outfitted. I really wish that this weather guard sticker would stay on there. But yeah, that's how we have it set up. I've also got the back rack there with the... Uh, little baby light bar on top for plowing and stuff so it's uh it's worked really well for the last couple of years but with the shift into more of the excavation type of work i think that the service body will probably just work out a little bit better so that's that that's how we got it all organized so thanks for tuning in on that video. Uh, try to keep it short and sweet, not uh, ramble on too much, but uh, trying to get back into the swing of videos here too. We've got some pretty exciting stuff coming up. So we're going to finish out this week working on the uh, service body swap and then getting that all outfitted with tools. And then uh, next week we're heading back to Tennessee. So stay tuned for that and uh, see what we can get into. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.